Okay. Hi, can you tell me what you got here? Sorry? What yeah, what I got here. I got here a project oh, of... Uh, I'm very yeah, I'm very nervous. <laughs> I got here a project of uh, a student of mine, uh, and of Lucas, frankly. So his, his name is Philip Bunge. And what he did, he basically provided a flex interface to small talk code, in this case VisualWorks. So just to give you an idea, this is, I just have here a command, I can just say class browser open. And what it does, it opens me another uh, standalone application. And I all of a sudden have here a, a browser of code. And this is right now going through the, the code of VisualWorks. So you can have here, you see here some lists, and if I click on something, then I get events handled, things are updated, I can resize in this case. So this is all implemented in Smalltalk. To give an idea of the possibilities of different components that are available, you can take a look here. So this is just a simple canvas that is, and we are drawing directly from VisualWorks on it. So we are just streaming commands over the network, or in this case is local. And so this is drawn by Adobe, so by, flex, by Flex. So it's a Flex user interface it's control a flex from user Smalltalk. Right, exactly. Okay. And everything is, is implemented up to uh, Flex on the Smalltalk side. So the low level um, communication is implemented. Okay. Uh, to give an idea of the of the size of the um, of the implementation, this is how the hierarchy of a button looks like. So, just take a look here. This is object, and this is flash object. So from here up to here, this is all low-level uh, implementation, and flex starts from here on. So. Basically, the low-level implementation deals with the transmission of objects over the network. Okay. And there is a client, there is a generic Flash client on, that uh, can take the user interfaces and then it draws it on the, what we, we call it at the moment, the stage. And the name of it is Glare because we wanted to make a pun on Flash. <laughs> so, okay, now to, just to give an, an idea of how uh, we, we also can script, so basically we can here at the moment we just create a stage and on this stage we want to put a button then of whose label is panic button and on click it should alert us that we should come down and then if you want to just open this, I uh, just execute it and I say panic button and tells me please calm down. <laughs> so basically everything is everything is small talk. So we have the callbacks here, we compose it small talk uh, wise and so if you want to take a look at how more complex um, or the class browser for example looks like we have a build on method, give it a stage, we create a panel in there we say that we want something divided. Mm -hmm. And then we should build the columns of the um, uh, of navigation on top, so it's, the division is vertically. And then below we should put the contents. So the columns they basically look like this. So we create different lists here. Uh, we can align them in all sorts of different ways. And when they when we change, for example, in this case the category list, mm -hmm. then we want to update everything else: the class, the message category, the message list, and so on, and the contents. And the contents is nothing but. It takes the area. And that's the browser you're showing me earlier. That was the browser that we showed earlier. So it's just a object-oriented way of putting together the user interface and then we render everything in place, which is quite neat. Yeah, very cool. Yeah.